Dude, what if we just put a mattress in the back of a minivan? <laughs> oh, I've done. I've had my family done that. Okay, good. Everybody's in. You said that in the most redneck way possible. I had, I had, my, had my family done that. I was that me, Dad. <laughs> to be fair, it was probably the redneck part in New Hampshire. Anyways, like um, New Hampshire. No, like for my. You would be surprised. I would the be mountain, surprised. The northern, apparently, they're like northern. Oh uh, no! Ones. Northern, northern um, rednecks. I've seen no, that. Yeah, those, the people people are from, trying to say. Yeah, oh, ahead. son of a bitch! I mean, I just took the Damn it! There, and <laughs> Damn. I was just like, okay, my, yeah, my family did this thing where we went to when we went to Disney World when I was seven. We actually uh, there was a bunch of me and my cousins who were like like ten and under at the time. We were like gonna sleep on a mattress in the back of um, SUV that one of my relatives was driving on the way to the airport. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Consider though, putting a mattress in the back of the van means we can more effectively uh, cycle driving no! shifts. No, yeah, and also, oh, um, you bitch! <laughs> we just have to guarantee one thing. Um, it's one of those like, don't get pulled over because obviously the police <laughs> probably won't legally. Lie. Why? So what the fuck did you post, dude? Luigi's throwing an ass in a circle. <laughs> Sorry. <Jesus. Easy. laughs> I, I'm sorry? What the Look fuck the... is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I don't emote. even know. I'm just gonna play the game. It's an <laughs> emote from another uh, Discord. I'm just, I'm not it's a, a gif of Luigi spinning his ass around, and it's spam. Oh, hole in one. Suck my nards. <laughs> Rise up. What is wrong with you? <laughs> He's um, throwing that ass in the But side. then I like... Here's the thing. The sleeping thing could work. Just don't get pulled over. Well, yeah. Noted. Um, it's because... almost impossible for that to happen in Texas, though. In California, it might be a little more tricky. I mean, I, I mean, it's California. I mean, oh no, I've never, been, I've never really had trouble with the police with police in California. It's just like, ah, yeah, oh, like, damn. Personally, it. I don't mind getting caught in a traffic jam too much because one right. thing I will say is this: Fuck. though there are traffic jams in California, ah, I was yeah, never bored in me. any of them. What about, what about the I, one I brought you? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, damn, damn it. it. Got the reason you. why oh, is because you. the scenery is actually like gorgeous. So if you're stuck in a place, it's Fuck. at least pretty to look at. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, well like I mean, I was stuck in mountains. Would you watch a hooker fight a homeless person to the death? <laughs> you know, that's that's actually that's over a actually fucking bag of Vicodin. Yeah. Dude. No, but, okay, here's, here's the other thing. When it when it comes to driving shifts, uh, I kind of want to keep my my work schedule sleeping thing. But I do want to point out, if I have just caffeine, Hold on. Um, Bar. I can actually I can actually drive for consistently for 17 hours. Yeah, that's up to Judy I am very much an endurance driver. If I have Adderall, I can drive for 35 hours straight. But I will because I couldn't fall asleep. No. So um. Because I couldn't fall asleep, um, the Adderall just kept me awake. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? Um, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. I tried, I, I really tried for an, an hour and a half to fall asleep, and I just couldn't do it. But I'm just like, you know what? I'm still awake, I've got another monster energy, and, I've, and I timed it, and I said, okay, in four hours I can take the caffeine without my heart exploding or anything. So that's what I did, and I ended up doing a... 33 hours of driving without sleeping, and I was completely fine the whole time. I, I most... would recommend doing that again, so I'll just say, if we do a road trip, I the most I've it. ever done on Just Camping ah, is 17 it. hours before I had to tap out. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? I, I, how did I get transported over there? I don't know, but uh, here's okay. my other thing. For those interested in the road trip, uh, and can drive. Ah! Uh, what is your what is the limit of your endurance? I, I know mine is seventeen hours. My the the most I've done at one time is twelve hours. I'd say. I don't think I've ever gone on like actual road trips, but I want to say I could probably I could probably handle like a full shift of eight hours. Do you want to? Okay, if we do this road trip, do you want to try it? And I can be like your auxiliary at auxiliary so that you can time it for. As long as you feel as safe, because you don't want to fuck around with, like, getting tired, you know? 
Uh huh. Mm. Oh, um, so we can just have it be you. okay, brother. Uh, you will drive until you absolutely cannot, and uh, I will swap out with you when uh, when you feel you can't. And we can just do it through Central Texas because oh my god, I mean, it's a straight <laughs> line. Yeah, it's a, you can lead foot it, you can straight line it. No one gives a shit. Just the only rule I have for Central Texas for my experience driving through it. If you find a gas station, go to it, even if you just topped off, because you do not know when you'll see another one, and some of the gaps between them are actually kind of scary. And on top of all that, uh, you don't know <laughs> you don't know how expensive the next gas station you go to is gonna fucking be. Yeah, because yeah. I've seen some fucking gas stations that are still selling the shit for like four fifty. I'm like, bro, how the fuck are you still in business? <laughs> well, like the last time I went on a big road trip, Thank I kept, you. I made sure to have like another tank of gas on me in case I went for like long segments without seeing a gas station. Yeah, I just want to say you probably don't know the gas prices in California right now. Yep. Yeah, uh, because like five or six ninety nine a gallon. Didn't they go down though? Yeah, it's down to three twenty nine here. Well, you're you're I you're lucky. This, I can't believe this. Oh, that's huge. Wait, huge. didn't the prices go down in Cali recently though? Uh, I'll have to take a look. But as far as I remember, holy shit! Oh, who the bitch? Who's the bitch? The fucking double digits. Uh oh. -uh. Riza, I swear. Okay, that actually helped. Thank you. <laughs> that was me that time. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Like, I also I fucked you over the first time, so I karmatically fucked, then unfucked you. Uh, um, double excuse me. Okay. Um, but no, um, no, I, I am totally down for, like, taking time off just to do, like, a road trip with people, just for the experience of a road trip. I'm, like, totally down for this. Ah, shit. Because here's the other See? thing, a rental car and the gas for it is actually really cheap when split between all the people that are, like, coming with you. Oh yeah. I also am an endurance road. I also am an endurance driver, and okay. we have a lot of auxiliary people. Plus, if we do a thing where we just like put a mattress in the back of the minivan, like, like, bro, we got it. <laughs> All right. So here's the here's the second most important question. <laughs> uh, yes. Who's bringing snacks? Oh damn okay, it! So, who's um, the snack distributor in chief? Well, here's the thing. My one rule that I have is, um, if you're driving, you get to pick the music because you're the one doing the work. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, as pa yep. if you are the passenger, um, then you, if the driver has a task that they need to accomplish that isn't re directly related to driving, like say put putting something in navigation or turning on the music, the passenger is the one who has to handle that. Um, I suppose someone in the back can have the snacks. I just want to point out though. A Dodge Caravan was extremely fucking cheap to rent for a week because we rented it for the BronyCon road trip. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, okay, so you just need, like, a 200 to $250 deposit. Yeah, but you get it back if you don't damage the minivan. So, you know, we just have to not be stupid about it. Two to guest. Um, but the thing is, it was only, like, 400 bucks for a week. Uh, wow. Which, that again, is, is divided by... Which, again, oh, Bernie, is divided by all Come the on. people... No! That are Hard. So, for instance, if we bring like Blissy, me, Riley, and like Solo, just as an example, it's everything is divided. Okay. Everything is divided by five. Okay. So, Google. my biggest thing is y'all seven. Y'all are saying that you can drive seventeen hours on one trip, eight hours. The most I've done is four. Maybe you're hard. not on this road trip, then, huh? No, no, I'm just like. No, I'm obviously not, but like I'm just sitting here thinking about because I've done road trips before of other groups and like we split up the we did up the, dri the driving, like uh like for the Florida to Tennessee for example it was like a twelve hour ah. drive and we split that up by four hours each and after four hours I was fucking ah. tired. Who I'm fucking going to make fucking kill you, Ferdy. What? Why was oh, I sent back the to fuck? the beginning? What the hell? I was too. Yeah. yeah okay. Fuck so... you, Jeff, you gay retard. Oh, oh sorry, what? When I was driving from New Hampshire to Utah, oh, it was dick. like I would do up to twelve-hour segments of driving at a time. Oh, back and then on. Joey, didn't Joey Ow. get some practice too? Well, that was when we went to California. This is when Damn I went it. to Utah. Well, oh, right. uh, when we went to California, Joey would get in some too. Yeah, I would when I needed like a Once nap or just wanted to rest mm -hmm. for like a few hours. I would have them alternate. 
but I don't know. Really stupid. Um, yeah, no, I'm totally, I'm totally down for like rotating, like rotating shifts thing. I'm also totally down for like doing a route where we just stop at like. Uh, like cool local restaurants or something along the way too, because roadside diners are fucking fantastic. I can't mm. fucking Boy. believe it. <laughs> you know what would have been cool to have seen brought back? What? What? Uh, what is that? Drive-by theaters, or oh, driving theaters? Drive yeah. yeah. There's like 20 seconds left, Solar. Dude, yeah, I'm aware. Um... Oh, sorry. There's, there's some big blue retard in front of me that keeps fucking cucking my shots. Uh, yeah, Dude, this whole course shots, has been cucking uh, everybody. Like, oh my god, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, here's, yeah, here's the thing. The teleporter was not teleporting me. <laughs> you didn't have enough fucking power in it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I did. Every time it just slowed me down for some reason. Oh, poor <laughs> So I was out of the- I was out of the- Room getting my what dinner. the hell? Take a, what the what fuck? Are taking, uh, road trip to? Uh, no, this would this would have just. What's been, going like, on? I can't well, move. I what the hell? What's going on? Oh. Can't move. Stupid, actually. Of me. What the fuck? Ah, 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 I'm what stuck. Fuck? I'm fucking oh, stuck. Hang on. Oh, where are you? Do you have reset enabled? I I thought I did. I'm pressing R. Oh no, he's. Oh. He's been clipped into the back rooms. Oh no. Oh, oh no, not oh. you too. That happened last game too. That happened to you too? Me, yeah, I remember the last time we played golf, I got clipped into a bunch of holes too. Oh yeah, you got God. stuck on that uh with that water trap pit. God damn it. Okay. I went into the back rooms. Okay. Damn it, since I forgot I forgot to do that edit of Riley and me in the back room, mm. now I gotta do one with Golden. Wait, what? what? I'm gonna play that VR backrooms game. I see, I see. Um, no, Golden, a while back I did an image edit of, um, Def in the back rooms, and I'm now I'm tempted to do one with Riley and you in the back rooms. Oh. Um, you're, 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 you're literally stuck in the back. <laughs> That's like, the dog. <laughs> another, another thing, uh, Oh, another uh, rule that I also tend to follow is um, do not, like, you might want to oh, save like, an energy drink or something until you know that there's a rest stop where you can immediately use the bathroom, because, what is it, I noticed with water, you can hold it in How the like, hours, fuck did you do that? But if it's an energy drink, it's like 30 minutes. Like, in 30 minutes, you will have problems. That is because caffeine is yeah. diuretic, and it makes you pee more. Same yeah, with alcohol. Still, don't drink caffeine, no, then. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is, what you do is, if you know that you're, it's at least 60 miles an hour is, you know, roughly a mile a minute. What the? Shit. I got turned into a cube. Who fucking used a randomizer? Yeah, that was, that was me. I'm wasting a shot. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh. Shot wasted. Oh. All right, then. <laughs> what? Uh, no. So, shit um, wasted. Or the shit shot. Um... Damn it! Oh. It, was, it, it was one of those situations where it was, um, I had a double jump, but it flipped into a randomizer. Oh. Uh, hey, shit ass. You wanna see me randomize the stream? Yeah, <laughs> see me do it again? Damn um, it! What is it? Um, right. Wait until you know that you're about to go to one in 30 minutes. The way I figured that out Son is of a bitch. I just, uh, look for a sign that says rest stop in, like, 56 miles. I'll be like, okay, in 20 oh, minutes, oh, I will Lord. crack open and chug this monster. So that when I arrive, I know that I can Fuck. just get rid of the problem immediately, and I'm still awake. You could have jumped like that. Or you could just be like me, that has a bladder like a steel Oh my god! Tighter than Fort Knox. Yeah, the only, reason, the only reason why I take it seriously, though, is that if you miss a rest stop, it'll be like next rest stop in like an hour, it's like an hour and a half away. Oh like god! Places. So Allow, me to, like... you. Allow me to introduce you to a Texan life hack. Just piss on the side of the road. You know what? I mean, that's True. what I, that was oh, mind. I do that all the time when I go on road trips. My dad and I would do that when I was a kid. It depends well, on the... where I it depends on where I am. But what do you have at the poop? Uh, Find a bush! For a rest stop. I mean you could probably okay, just so what you do if you have to poop on a road trip riser is that you shit in your hand and then you just hold it. Uh, what? <laughs> what? No! no, 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 no. 
No. no. If you really start stinking up the car and everybody else starts complaining, you eat it to get rid of it. That's oh, what the fuck? Dude! Come on, man! I'm eating! Don't ask stupid fucking questions, then. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not a... The simple answer is you find a fucking bush when you pull over. Or what if you have yeah, to fight? Too. Just wipe the hand you, night, you stupid. This is why you keep the napkins from any, like, uh, fast food places you go from in your car. Or <laughs> yeah. just buy, or just buy toilet paper. Where the keep fuck? It just in case. It's... What is this, 2020? Why you keep fucking toilet paper in the glove box? <laughs> I mean, I no still that. remember that shit. Good lord. I remember that shit too, mainly because they got rid of the fucking toilet paper. Oh, it was stuck in my hand. Though, I will say with this one thing you will find like the best restaurants that you've never heard of at random places alongside of the highway, I swear. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that for sure because there was this one fucking place in Texas called, uh, is called fucking Mavericks. And it had, bar none, the best chicken fried steak I've ever had, and it was also fucking massive. Dude, right? okay. and like, they had the, the regular what? size, and they had, like, the large, and I was like, man, I'm hungry, fuck? I've been in a car for, like, fucking, at least eight hours, and I haven't fucking eaten anything since this morning. I'll get the large. They're like, you sure? It's pretty big. I'm like, I haven't eaten anything all day. And they bring this shit out, and it's so fucking massive, it's literally hanging off the sides of the plate. Damn. And I was like, oh, damn, they were right. But you know what? I fucking demolished that shit anyways, because, uh, mom ain't raised no quitter. No, here's, here's another thing, too. Like, the best, like, uh, you typically also find, like, at least up north, you would find the best diners, because they're just hidden way up there. I know down here... There's like some pretty damn good like barbecue and Tex Mex in like the places that you never heard of. Viva la Rosa. Peter, with you also, mentioning um mentioning yeah. like the different restaurants that like when you go on uh, road trips and you find them and they have like excru um like very luxurious, like delicious food. You just reminding me, have you ever heard of Man vs. Food? Oh I've, man vs. I have heard of him, yeah. And I yeah, I know the premise of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Because, point being, I did not expect, like, I'm not surprised about that. Because there have been really? numerous places on what they put together, and it's like... Huge. Huge! Yeah, I, say. Uh, I, re I remember that show, and funny enough, he the guy actually is not, like... Wait, what? Uh, you were saying Why did they go the back here? Wait, What? Did he get refreshed? I got, I got, when the thing hit me up there, I somehow got refreshed back down here. You Lol, bastard. Oh, Eagle. that's bad. Um, so, uh, that's so now I would love to do that. Also, just to go at scenery, because for real, like, Central Texas does get kind of samey, but it is kind of nice in its own way. But especially when you hit, like, the redstone areas, like, at El Paso. Oh, God, it looks so fucking beautiful. <laughs> I want to just photograph that shit. Oh, dude, I would have a ball with my DSLR. I'd be taking pictures Same. of so much shit. You know what's? You know what's also cool? I can actually oh. technically, if we just <laughs> devo if we devote time to just going there and back, I would probably only have to take like one day off to actually make this happen. Riley, that's so fucking funny. What? When you ice cube backwards, it's the portal. Congratulations, Riley. It's like that one fucking meme of, like, the dude stepping on the rake and hitting himself in the face, and then the <laughs> next panel is him, like, doing a fucking kickflip kick down a flight of stairs. All right. <laughs>